So the speed of light is a constant. But the important thing about variables in Python is that they can vary. That's why they're called variables. Once we define a variable, we can change the value. And then when we use that name again, it refers to the new value. So let's see that in the interpreter. We could change the value of cycles per second. Suppose we have a faster processor. Now we've upgraded. We've got a 2.8 gigahertz processor. Now, that doesn't affect the value of cycle distance. This was already computed with the old cycles per second. We still get the result 0.111. We'll compute it again. This time, the value of cycles per second is the new value, since we changed what cycles per second refers to. And now when we print cycle distance, we see that the value has changed. So we have a faster processor. The second time we print cycle distance, now we only have 0.107 meters, less than 11 centimeters per cycle. So what happens now that we have assignment, the same expression can have different meanings different times we evaluate it. The value of this speed of light divided by cycles per second depends on what the current value of cycles per second is. When we evaluate the first one, the value was 2 billion 700 million. So we got a different result, which is the 0.111 result we got the first time. When we evaluate the same expression the second time, the result's different because the value that cycles per second refers to is different, and that's why we get the smaller cycle distance the second time. So let's see what's going on there and make sure we understand assignment. So suppose we have a variable days, and we'll initialize it to the value 7 times 7. So what that does is introduce a name days, and it refers to a value, which is the result of that expression. So it refers to the value 49. And that means when we look up the name days, we see what it refers to, and we get the result 49. If we do another assignment, let's say we have one less day, and in this case, we'll assign 48 to days. Well, that's a new assignment. We already have a name days. It used to refer to 49, but after the new assignment, it's going to refer to this new value. Now it's going to refer to the value 48. The number 49 still exists, but days no longer refers to it. Now days refers to 48. Where things get more interesting is we can use variables in their own assignment statements. So here we have an assignment statement where we have the value days minus 1, and we assign that to days. So what happens with that assignment? Well, we evaluate the right side first. We look for the value of days, and we see that it refers to 48. We compute days minus 1, and we get the value 47. Then we do the assignment that will assign to the variable days. So now the value days refers to the value 47, no longer refers to 48. So we could keep doing that. If we did another statement, the same exact one, that's going to change the value again. This time, the first time the value days is 47, we'll subtract 1, we'll get the value 46. And then we do the assignment. That'll change the value. So now days refers to the value 46. So the important thing to notice, this is not an equal symbol. This looks like an equal symbol. If you studied algebra, you would think an equation like this looks like an equality, and there's no way to solve an equation like that. In Python and in most programming language, equal does not mean equal. What equal means is assignment. You should really think of it as an arrow. It's an arrow saying, put whatever value the right side evaluates to into the name on the left side. We don't write it as an arrow in most programming languages. There's some that do just because an arrow is harder to type and lots of programs have lots of assignments. But you should think of the equal sign as not meaning equal. It means assignment.